Hello, this is Solanadel, and welcome to the graveyard. We're back, everybody. So I checked the video uh, before posting the uh, Thursday video last week, and I determined that OBS not only records super sweet and made the video look fine, uh, it recorded in about half the size of my regular DVR. Uh, now, I wasn't able to get OBS to record everything. It had issues when I was trying to get it to record Oblivion. Uh, so, we're probably only going to use it for, like, FTL, uh, Darkest Dungeon. And I'm going to look into streaming, but I really want to get, like, a second monitor. Um, so, I can, like, control OBS and everything while the stream is happening. Um, just to make sure everything's working and I can see the stream to make sure that everything is that should be captured is being captured. Uh, but before that, we need to embark on a mission. Oh, wow. That's a really, really good ring. But we actually need portraits. Ta-da. Kill one shuffling horror, eh? Skill revelation. Book of sanity. Minus one hundred. I don't know what that means. Fifteen thousand gold. Holy shit. Uh, that'll be cool, though. I know there is a uh, achievement to go into the darkest dungeon with a group of level one characters, I will probably start a secondary save file to do that sort of shenanigans. Uh, kill one necromancer, plus 12 accuracy. The problem is that it's like medium, short, short, houndmaster only. 4,500, 4,500, of course. You know, we're actually going to go and fight this boss. Unless this guy won't come. Alright, never mind. We are going to... I guess do one of these. Complete 100% of room battles. Complete 100% of room battles. So, four. Four. And this. Alright, we're going to go do this one. We're going to take Sparhawk, Silk... Morticia and Sephrenia. Uh, Morticia, you like being in this position. Alright, good. So, we just don't have all that much money for provisions. So, we're just going to be a little bit short this time. That's all. We're only going to be able to afford one shovel, which I think is fine. We're going to have to basically save up some money before I go on a big old upgrading spree again. Uh, which is disappointing. This time I hopefully will not be talking quite so much about Twilight. Uh, <laughs> or werewolves and vampires. But we'll see how the day goes. Uh, so Black Friday happened. I hope everyone in the states who may watch these videos is safe. I, uh... Hell, I hope everyone who watches this video in Canada was safe. You might not believe it because Canada doesn't really have Black Friday. Like, we don't have our Thanksgiving uh, in this time of the year. Uh, but it's become so prevalent. Uh, what the fuck are you doing, you klepto piece of shit? Uh, it's become so pre pre prevalent that uh, we totally have Black Friday stuff. Like, one morning, uh, two or three years ago, I was up at like four in the morning with my mother to go to Canadian Tire so I could buy a TV for like a hundred bucks. Which I'm still using. Actually, we're using it in the main room downstairs. Uh, because the... Where did my shovels go? Did we already find two of them? That's bullshit. Oh, what is this? A ghoul and a tenacious crone. It's poison dart this. This is cool. I like the way that looks. Red sounds like a bleeding move. But it missed thanks to Sparhawk being a badass motherfucker. Swag, crit, and stun, which is super good. 
Means we get to deal four free damage to her. Uh, she should be dead. Because Silk is good. So, I like that we have three characters from David Eddings novels. Two from the Elenium and Tebuli, and one from uh, the Malorian and Belgarian. I don't know why I went with Malorian first when the Belgarian is so, uh, I would argue, more known. Ah, I was hoping that would deal more damage. Honestly. Same with that. This thing is beefy. 40% prod. It's cutting the damage it's taking almost by half. That's crazy. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. You know what, Spike? Yeah, like he would have taken like 14 damage there if he wasn't getting such a high protection rating. I don't know if Mortici yeah, Mortitia's not going to be able to do anything. I should have saved the lunge for what I knew it would kill. Uh, is this on dead? It is not on dead. It's just on holy. That's good. Uh, because if it was on dead, we wouldn't have been able to make it bleed. Uh, you should heal yourself, Sephardia. Good girl. Good heals. I, uh, I have been reading my way through, uh, the Tabuli. I am on the final sexy Morticia. I am on the final book in the series. I am on uh, the Hidden City, which is good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like a third of the way through it. I, I literally only read it when I go to the washroom. So, you know, I mean, I get a lot of reading done. It's just, it'd be faster if I just picked it up and read it. But I prefer saving it for that. I've also been reading uh, Redwall. The first book in the Redwall series, which I never read as a kid. Uh, so that's exciting. I actually am enjoying it, even though it's clearly... Uh, very clearly made for a younger audience. It's definitely not made for... Oh, 27 crit Mortician. Jesus. Uh, it, it's clearly not made for someone of my age group, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, it actually motivated me to pick up the rule book for, like, an animal-themed uh, role-playing game. Oh, are you serious? That's three of them in a short mission. That's crazy. Um, so we, we actually picked up, uh, I picked up one called Mouse Guard, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's the actual rule set I want to go with. Uh, I did read my way through the rules for it. I think parts of it are really neat. Uh, I don't know. A part of me wants to, like, just use, like, a modified D20 system. And just change it around so the characters can be like, you know, mice and <sighs> moles and hamsters and shit. But, uh, I have done a little bit of map work for it. Uh, and I do have a campaign basically done up for this setting I've made. I don't know, I just, I, I just, reading the Breadwell books, like, really makes me want to fiddle around with it. Because it's just, it's really funny. I love the idea of... You know, like a bunch of mice armed with swords, axes, trying to protect their home from, like, a fox <laughs> or some shit. Lunge. Ah, I was hoping to kill it. Let's, uh, bleed it. And that will kill it. That's actually not that great. I was hoping it would live so we could heal Sparhawk. Success so clearly in view. Or is it there we go. So Sparhawk's actually going to take some damage from the Blight. In radiance, may we Ooh, we have a Blighted Giant. 102 health, eh? We should Poison Dart the... Oh, no, it missed. That's not good. <laughs> we need to take the Crone out quickly because she does crap like that. Let's stun the... Oh, my Jesus. Are you serious? In what world am I just missing all of these shots? Uh, 
There we go. 14 crit on the doggy. I'm actually surprised that didn't kill it, but it's probably just because we're on the higher level bishop. Oh my god, Morticia, come on. <laughs> we need you, baby girl. Do your thing. Uh, we're gonna heal... No, we have to heal Sparhawk specifically. He's taking too much damage. It's alright. She can take the blight. It's better than him swinging that tree on Sparhawk's face. Kill her. Thank you. Now that we can focus on just the giant, I honestly don't think it's going to give us too, too much of a problem. Uh, just because we can quickly, like, open its van and stun it. I know your heart will burst, buddy. Stunning blow. Shit. I just hope Sparhawk doesn't, like, die. Alrighty, hit Silk. 24 damage. Ugh. This is disgusting. Thankfully, this guy is big, so he counts as being in the second and first. Uh, so I'm actually able to uh, hit him with my throat dagger. Let's uh, stack the bleed. Yeah, four damage per activation. Uh, we didn't stun him, so let's try and hit him again. Uh oh. Oh, Sparhawk took the hit. Thankfully, I do believe this is, like, the last room we have to go through. Yeah, this guy's taking a lot of damage. I don't think he's going to live through this round. But our healing is not superb. Uh, it really all depends how much damage Sparhawk deals with him. With a smite? Yeah, he's dead. Awesome. Brawler's Glove. Position one. Maybe this is position one. Like, the, the, the positions aren't numbered. Like, is this one or is this one? I don't know. Uh, let's see if this chest has a hitting component. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Was that? No, it wasn't. Shit. All right, this isn't good. We're actually a little low now. You need to fall back. So what we need now is to like go up against a pack of dogs. Something that really can't hurt us too bad. Or those slimes again. Oh God, we're gonna die. I think we might need to retreat. All right, well, let's just see. We'll go one round. And no, in one round, no one can die. I don't believe. So let's let's go one round and see if we're able to kill the back line here. All right, that's that's really good. Let's see if we can stun this guy. All right, that's really good. There we go. Holy crap, that was a ton of healing. All right, we might not be dead. We just need a very similar turn to play out where we kill this bitch. Uh, now, he does have 110% stun resist, so we're not going to be able to stun him again. But we crit again on the heal. All right, that's really good. Embrace the dark. Is that just stress? All right. Stress and torch damage. We can take that. We're going to boost his prod. Oh, good. He put out spores. Oh, shit. What? That is garbage. All right. Well, she's dead. 
Thankfully, you have your Mace Bash, which does do 12 damage. Because you're disgusting, Sephiria. Uh-oh. Oh, Silk Dodge! That's so Silk. That's so exactly what that sick-ass motherfucker would do. That was so badass. Ooh, bitch, get out the way, get out the way. Oh, fuck me. Smack! <laughs> she crits. bitch. <laughs> oh, man. I pity Zelasta. If Sephardia is hitting a giant like this, she's gonna kill that motherfucker. Let's see if we can get some blood on him. Good, good. Four damage. See if we can slit a vein. No, he did resist the bleed. He only has a 40% too. Alright. Let's heal the party. Party heal. Tree marriage? Nope. Confusion sports. Don't you dare reset all the work I just did. That's fine with me. That, that is... That is a totally fine way to confuse us because it's basically the same thing I wanted. Alright, we need to heal the party again. 12 health, that's good heals. I mean, it's not like what a freaking occultist can do healing like 24 to a single person, but it's pretty good. Uh, Morticia will live through that. In fact, she will dodge us. Ah, oh, we wait, très bien. And yes, Trish, that was French. 20 crit! <laughs> Fuck me, that was badass. All right, let's take this shit. Uh, let's close this. We will pick this up. Uh, we need to keep money. And this is actually a common trinket. Um, so it's really not worth anything to me. Actually, uh, let's... Uh, Continue with adventure in here. So there's no more rooms uh, with a battle. So we're actually going to go here just to see if I can manage to get a little bit of money. Glittering gold. Uh, that's actually really good. And we are going to replace. We're going to eat all our food. He's full. Full. She's not hurt. All right. Six more. Uh, Fuck, are you serious? Bitch, please. Oh, the crit! <laughs> Bash! <laughs> Three. Alright, that, that thing has like... What is the prod on that thing? I'm trying to see. Uh, 50%. Alright, so she would have dealt six, to be fair. Kill her. Thank you. Of whatever Silk just does exactly lethal, it's just like, eh, I'm gonna hit you just enough to kill you. Uh oh, that's actually not good. Uh oh. Shit, if we lose Sparhawk because I decided to continue the mission, I'm gonna be really salty. And he's stressed. Ah, oh, fuck, are you serious? Ah, oh, Sparhawk. Alright. Oh well, it's my own hubris. Can't you hear it? Alright, heal. He's not low enough. They might actually kill Sparhawk this turn. 18 crit. He might actually have a heart attack and die if they don't kill him outright. All right, he's guaranteed dead. No, Sparhawk's dead. He made it, he survived. And she can heal him. All right, we need to do the lunge. That crit though. Followed by a Fuck. This guy moving forward. Big heal. Alright, heal the- Oh my god, he separated himself from the party. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, don't die, Sparhawk. Oh, no, he stressed Sephardia. Sephardia, be good? Yes! 
Yeah, she is. It is as if the verse book says purity is power. Uh, I can see my halo, halo, halo. Yeah, I can. Uh, let's just get the corpse. This guy's gonna die, don't worry about it. Open his veins. He did resist. However, off of death's door. Yeah, the Sparhawk's gonna live, but he's garbage. But Sephredia is powerful, which is great. And it also resets her stress meter super well. Uh, we definitely need to like make a new A team because this A team kind of sucks. Give me something good. I'll take that. Uh, we need to delete this and this. All right, we'll leave now. We got enough stuff that I honestly think we can leave. Plus, uh, so let's see how much gold we got. Good Sephredia though. Light sensitive. Healing, bulimic. All right, we actually need to get rid of bulimic and light sensitive. Those are actually very bad negatives for Silk to have. Uh, daylight robbery. Gambling is locked. Bar costs reduced. Brothel reduced. All right. Uh, does it say how much gold we got? No, but it looks like it was a decent amount. Uh, all right. To the Abbey with you, you piece of shit. Will you only go to the brothel? Will not pray. May not meditate. May not pray. No, she just won't. She just won't do anything at the church, which is really weird for a holy lady. Oh, it costs so much. We have to get rid of a Bolivia, though. That's, that's, that is, like, crazy bad. And yeah, Mortitia's fun. Uh, so let's actually sell these. Because I think they're all pretty trash. There we go. That's gonna get our gold back up to above what it was before we had to, uh make the uh mission so that's actually gonna give us enough room to reduce the cost in the end uh we still need to get portraits but this is gonna let us upgrade steel. our a few more people oh john snow's back and it's gonna let us reduce the cost uh do 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 all right, so only people who are level two don't have three and three. All right, everyone's upgraded. That's great. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming by. We'll be back with another episode of Darkest Dungeon. And hey, maybe this time Sparhawk won't suck. Uh, I, of course, say that in jest because he will not be with us on the next mission. Hopefully, we'll be able to take out a boss. Uh, if I were to guess what we were going to do, uh, we're probably going to take on the Wise and Hag. Uh, which sort of sucks because, again, it's not portraits. There's portraits. That's what we need, right? Uh, shit, we, we, we might need to do this. Uh, but taking care of the boss would be good, too. Plus, we could use the money. And I'm pretty sure we can handle the hag. The biggest issue with the hag is that she is like a huge pot and she puts someone in it. And you need to deal a certain amount of damage to the pot to get them out. Or else they cook over the over a number of turns. Uh, and the pot takes up the first two slots. And she takes up the back two. So you need people who can hit the back two slots. Or you don't have any way of dealing damage to her. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be the Jacobs team that does that. Uh, either way, I want to thank you all for coming to the video. Please, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, just leave a quick comment just saying, hey, hi, what's up? Like the vid. Man, that Sparhawk's a punk bitch. Good thing Calton broke his nose. You know, just comment. Let me, let me, let me, give, give, it's a little give and take. Let me know you like what you see. Thank you. Have a great day.